right. Junkie John's back again. <laughs> Jim, I got news for you today. I'm fucking loony as hell. Let me get a light on where everybody can see. I gotta speak louder because nobody can hear me on this damn telephone. I ain't got the money to buy no damn telephone. I'm back again, the cats are stick. Survivor, cats are stick. Part two. Everybody's gonna die if you puff these nasty ass goddamn cigarettes. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about my damn Maverick today. I put the new oil pump in, a new racing radiator, and a new 160 degrees thermostat. And the motherfucker, it's got 10 pounds of goddamn oil pressure on that son of a bitch. It's got a 200 in line six. But I called the dealers, they said that's, that's the good oil pressure on them. I do believe so. It don't make no rattling noises and knocking. It sounds good. That motherfucker sounds good. And it'll fly like a bat out of the hell to it outrun a V8. I do believe I got a V8 truck. It'll believe it'll smoke its ass. The Ford Maverick's a damn good car. If anybody ever wants one, the four-door cars are making a cup back. They're going to make a comeback, and they're selling for high-dollar prices. They're not a cheap car. I've seen them from 7000 in fair condition all the way up to fifteen. I know what the hell I'm talking about. These classic four-door cars are coming back. Take it from Junkie John, because I know everything and anything. Lawn mowers, weed eaters, I know it all. I've been working on cars for 30 years. I know what I'm talking about. I would not own a fucking two-door car. I don't like them. There ain't no room in the sun, but you couldn't make, you can't do nothing. You can't even haul a kid in the sun, but you're so damn small and compact. You gotta have a four-door car. I don't own two-door shit no more. Mm-mm. I used to have a 70 Wash Chevelle. It was a bad motherfucking ride, I'll tell you that. Oh, dude, I didn't want to sell it for no battle buddy. People tried to buy it. I said, hell no. And my stupid ass junkie father sold my damn car. I hope he looks at my damn video. I never, never forgive him for selling my grandpa's truck and my Chevelle. Because it was not left to him. I did not tell him to sell the goddamn thing my junkie crackhead sister for a goddamn car that wasn't worth five cents. A damn 85 Cutlass Oldsmobile with a 260 and a son bitch running hot as hell, smoking like it was on fire. I wouldn't trade that Chevelle for 10,000 goddamn Oldsmobiles. Mm-mm. Hell no, you listen to Junkie John. I order. God damn. Somebody order to pick me up because I'm crazy as hell. Mm-hmm. If I had something to work on, I'd work on it show you. <laughs> I'm going to make a video of my Maverick if I get 100 subscribers. I'll make a video of the Maverick. And it's up for sale, too. This Maverick's up for sale for the right price. It ain't a cheap Maverick. It's not going to... I'm about to paint this damn car. I know how to paint cars, too. And she's not going to be a cheap one. Because when I put the paint on its ass, it's going to be a $1,000 paint job. Because I don't believe half acid. I take every single thing off of that car when I pay it. I'm telling you, it's going to look good when I get done. <laughs> if you want to buy the car as it is right now, it's $7,500. When I get done painting, it's going up to $15,000. i am telling you, the inside's like, it's immaculate. I just put a new headliner in it and every damn thing. The only thing that's left to do is have one seat repaired. That's it. On one side, the little corner of it, hell. If you want the car, leave a comment below, and I'll make a video of it for 100 subscribers. Anybody wants it. I don't drive it much because I'm scared somebody's going to hit it and tear it all to hell. Because people would ever South Carolina, South Carolina, period. North Carolina people, South Carolina people cannot fucking drive. They ain't, like, they ain't never seen a damn red light before. A North Carolina person, hillbilly. What the hell's a red light? Let's stay here for 30 minutes when it's on green. Fuck a damn hillbilly people. They can't drive. You listen to me. I'll tell you what I do. 
If you don't, you sitting on your fucking telephone, texting on the damn red light, I'm gonna hit you in the goddamn ass. This is what I'm gonna do, push you out of the goddamn way. I don't give a damn what I drive, I'll push you, my truck will push your ass out of the goddamn way. Cause she's got the big 351 Windsor and she's built too. And I'll push your ass out of the damn way. I cannot stand somebody that don't know how to fucking drive. They sit there with the finger up their ass with the light screen. You blow the horn, then they take off. I don't know what the hell they're doing, fingering their damn asshole or jacking off or what the hell they're doing, but they're doing something. They shouldn't be doing fucking with a radio. Fuck a radio. I don't listen to a radio. Don't need one. But hell, if you want to see a crazy son of a bitch in life, you watch me. I'm really crazy. I ain't grandpa ain't got shit. Oh, he, they paid him to break all this shit because they was going to replace it from the get-go. I've caught him in the act saying that shit. When he busted the damn stove, they was buying him a new one anyway because it was tore up. They bought him a refrigerator. It was dead anyway. They, they paid him to break all this shit, and he got on TV for it and made millions of dollars. I don't want the damn money. I just want viewers, a real viewer. They like seeing my stuff. I don't want nothing but that. I don't have to have a button. I just want a button. Thanks for watching my channel and have a great day.